There's a mysterious threat in Nactus, Texas. On this episode of Mysterious Mysteries, we look into the mystery of Camel Fist. Welcome to Mysterious Mysteries. I'm your host, John Riker. There's not much known about the elusive camel fist, other than it's able to cloak itself invisible to the human eye, and it manages to stalk its prey and kill it. It's not much known what it does with its prey. Does it eat it as some sort of source of food, or is it out of sport? I traveled to Nacogdoches, Texas to see, to figure out what is the truth behind Camel Fist? Is he some sort of interdimensional being? A space alien? A crazy government experiment? Maybe all of the above. But one thing we know for sure, Camel Fist is real. And he's out there and he's killing people under our noses. My name is Johnny Thunderdome. That, that's what my, my fans call me. I eat, sleep, uh, live and breathe to uh, capture Camel Fist. It was uh, just an ordinary day. I was out walking in the woods with my dog. And, uh, you know, nothing seemed out of ordinary. And suddenly, I, just, I had that sticky, that, that, that feeling where it feels like I'm, I'm being stopped. About 20 years ago, I'm driving around in a Mustang, and I see something weird in the woods. So I stopped, and I got out. I, I didn't see anything, but I could hear things. And from that moment on, Camel Fitch has been following me. It was around about the year of our Lord, 2013, I reckon. Uh, <clears throat> me and uh, my my friend. Well, I'll be honest with you. They were my my life partners, uh, Randy and Suzanne. Uh, we we were in one of them. Uh, what you call uh, polyamorous triad. Uh, we were on our way back from uh, from back up from Houston, uh, going down fifty nine, and uh, we were in the truck and. You know, we got a little frisky, so we thought, uh, why don't we just pull over and uh, roll around with each other, you know? And we went in the woods, and uh, we had my five dogs with us in, in the back of my pickup. Uh, they're good dogs. They don't make a whole lot of noise, and they they just kind of sit there if, uh, you know, if, if I told them to. And uh, But I, I, I hear some noise uh, coming from the truck. I hear the truck rattling a little like a and now I'm thinking well that's odd and I walk buck ass naked through the woods up to the, the edge of the tree line where the pickup is and I see that I see that nothing is left of my dogs my five dogs in the pickup except for their skeletons next thing I know I Something hits me in the back of the head. I, I lose consciousness. I wake, you know, I wake up a few, a few minutes later and I see my, my dog. It's spark, sparky. I see there's this trail of blood coming from the truck, right? And I look a little further left, and I see it's the shape of a man, you know, of a humanoid creature, but it was covered in blood, and I turn around, and I, I he's running fast. He just went whoosh, 
and I turn around and I hear a scream out two screams out in the woods and I go out there and uh, I see nothing but Randy and Suzanne's skeletons outside you think it's the wind brushing against the, the limbs and the, and the leaves and whatnot but it's not it's camel fish this camel fist is following me stalking me so this creature is as far as I can I could reckon at the time is invisible it is fast and uh, it consumes the flesh of mammals very rapidly but doesn't take their bones I think it eats time it, it's an interdimensional being it, it, it's, it, it's, it's taking time away from us one second at a time became devoted to hunting this creature and I started you know digging around on the internet looking at uh looking at different sort of you know urban legend posting see if anybody had seen anything like this monster and i find uh this website called i saw camo fist.net you know and it was just this forum of all these people that had seen this creature that lined up with my understanding you know and uh i realized that i was experiencing the same thing these people were experiencing after that to the police and the police didn't believe me. They, they thought I was they, they thought I was joking. They thought, you know, it, it was a cougar or something, but I, I know what I saw. I, I know that wasn't some cougar or wild animal. It was it was camel fist. That that thing was camel fist. My all the research I've done though suggests that camo fist is probably the product of some sort of United States military experimentation. Camel fist. It's from another dimension. That's why we can't see him, but he can see us. And he can touch us, or we can't touch him. And as far as um, theories, I don't know. I mean, I, I've heard trans-dimensional being. I've, I've heard experiments you know i don't care aliens i don't know i don't care the, the thing is is whatever that is i just want it dead i just hope it gets killed from the victims of camel fish, this is truly a dangerous being no one but those who have shared the experience believe them but i john Riker, do and I will go to the Piney Woods and find Camel Fitz and prove once and for all that his existence is real. As you see, it is nighttime and I'm in the woods. I'm going to find this Camel Fist, even if it kills me. So, I've been uh, walking outside these woods for about a few hours now. And so far, I haven't encountered any Camel Fist. However, I just have this strange feeling that uh, I might not be alone. Like I'm being stalked or something. You hear that? You hear that? Quiet. I think you might be close. Shit! Run! 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 Shit! Shit! 
Watch out for me! Shit! Oh, oh, fuck! Ah! Ah! And just like that, I died. That's right, I am dead. So, Mr. IRS agent, who is uh, stalking me, if you're wondering why I haven't filed my taxes, it is because I am dead. Just another victim of Camel Fist. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that mystery as much as I did, as well as the mystery of my own death. I hope you stay tuned to the next mystery as we explore something mysterious and as deadly. Will it be a Nazi experiment or space aliens? The answer may shock you.